what we did. Let me take some examples, then it's easy for you to understand. to face a violent situation, right? Mm -hmm. So it is part of a understanding that what are the possibilities that you imagine? The state can be violent, you are absolutely right, right? Yeah. Let me give you an example of when we were marching, uh, 25,000 people, we met with a truck accident. The truck came, three people were killed. So what, what is the natural tendency? When three of your colleagues are crushed by a truck, the natural tendency should be to beat up the driver, block the road, and uh, create create uh, violence, isn't it? So it was surprising for everyone because of this long years of training. Don't train people for that eventuality. They can misbehave, things can go out of hand. Then the state will get an opportunity to crush you completely. I want to give you another example. Were you, were you, were you... Yeah, and only, only, only when an instruction, nest instruction will come, you should move. Till then, you have nothing to do, mm -hmm. right? Then the dead people, after the whatever whatever rituals are there, after doing that, the dead bodies were sent back to their families, and on that day there is no there is no celebration, but silent march towards the next point. And then there are other many, many things. How do we deal with the families? How do we help the family? How do we rehabilitate the family? There is a lot mm -hmm. lot of responsibility on people who are organizing such things because. You cannot expect what is going to happen to you, right? So the preparation to deal with violent situation is very, very important in, in the training itself. Otherwise, people can get out of control and behave the way they want to behave. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what is the slogan? Slogan number one is, Police hamare bhai hai unse nahi ladai. You understood? <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? It means police is our brother, we have no fight with them. Very often, what is happening? All the struggles are ending up with a struggle with police. You have come with a big idea to change a policy, but you are ending up fighting a police. Because we see police as a representative of the state and get carried because they have the gun, they have the stick, you get angry, mm -hmm. and you try to deal with this guy. In that process, your issue is gone, but you end up in prison, and the, the time is wasted in dealing with police cases. So there are many slogans, uh, only an example, eh? <laughs> there are many, many slogans. Hamla chahe jaisa ho, haat hamara nahi uthega. That means, let the other guy be violent, but I will not lift my hand. Right? This, is, this is where you, start reacting violently. So there are slogans and songs and methods to train people look, in violent situation how you need to behave and if there is tension how others can intervene to, to mediate between these two etc. Et so one village where um, people were very angry. They said these people are going to divide land so they are enemies of farmers redistribution of land is against the farmers, so we should not receive them. And in that village, I remember the argument was, 
when we said, look, if you have land and a company will come and take the land and if the landless laborers will not support with you, can you protect your land? So very often people believe that I will not distribute my land because then I will have less land. So people who are working on the land will never have land. But then when a company will come from outside and take all your land for setting up a factory, who will fight against the company with you if they don't have land? They will not be in the village, they will go out. So redistribution of land is <coughs> in your interest because then they will also cultivate the land and you will be too much. So rather than exploiting them, because you are being exploited in the market, mm -hmm. you don't get good price for your product. That is why you are exploiting them. So rather than exploiting them, why don't you take their support and fight the market system together? And after this argument, they were all together. <laughs> all the farmers came together. They said, oh, these people are going to protect our land. By sharing our land with them, we can, we can have a better life in this village. So it's a question of rather than treating people as enemies and always projecting them as enemies, how do you see that in the common interest we need to we need to share resources and live together, etc. So whether it's indirect violence or direct violence, you need to train people to deal with it in a in a way that it doesn't create more conflict and more violence, but try to deal with the existing violence. There will be many, many examples of in, in our life. I began by dealing with many people who are with gun, you know. Mm -hmm. I started working in an area where there were more than thousand decades bandits. And nobody believed that all these bandits are going to put down their arms after two, three years. But it was like a miracle that you know, after many years of dialogue, much of work with young people, all these people came with their gun and put it down in front of Mahatma Gandhi's photograph. Mahatma Gandhi was not there. His photograph, piling up 760 guns in one place. So there are ways to deal with very violent situation, medium violent situation, or even not to allow violence to escalate, etc., etc. Right? You come for a training and we'll deal with it. <laughs> <laughs>